Hello guys, welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we are going to look into question number 1, bit 7 from exercise 1.4 of the chapter 1 called real numbers. So let's guys see what we exactly have in this question number 1, bit 7. So coming to the question 1, bit 7 like it is given like without actually performing the long division state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion so guys we are not going to perform any long division calculations just we need to determine whether the given rational number is a terminating or non-terminating and here the given number is like 129 by 2 to the power square 5 to the power 7 and 7 to the power 5 so let's see how we can solve this question so coming to the solution but before that guys i would uh, like to let you know that for determining whether a rational number is terminating or non-terminating there are three theorems for this like we need to understand these three theorems first uh, clearly so that we can um, uh, able to judge whether a particular uh, number is a terminating or non-terminating rational number i already made videos for these three theorems so if you haven't uh, gone through these videos, I would request you to kindly go through these videos so that you can get a clear picture how to determine whether the number is a rational number terminating or non-terminating. So uh, let's see, move, let's move ahead. So whether the below rational number will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. This is what the question is. And the given number is 23 by 2 to the power 2, 5 to the power 7 and 7 to the power 5. So looking at the question, we need to just determine whether the given rational number is terminating or non-terminating repeating decimal because it is clearly mentioned in the question. We are not going to do any calculations. So from the question itself, we are getting a very clear picture of the denominator. Um, no need to do further calculations because mostly uh, if for a rational number to be terminating or non-terminating, the denominator gives us a clear picture. If we remember the theorems, they always from the theorem, uh, it is always clearly mentioned that if a rational number is terminating and a, in like terminating then definitely its denominator should be of the form 2 to the power n and 5 to the power m and if it is not terminating it should not be of the form 2 to the power n and 5 to the power m and some extra things will be there. So now looking at this denominator, uh, here we have uh, like 2 to the power 2, 5 to the power 7 but we have one extra number 7 to the power 5. Hence as the denominator is not of the form 2 to the power n 5 to the power m because it is uh, it is having another number like 7 to the power 5 so we can easily say that this rational number is a non-terminating repeating number hope guys you understood this uh, calculation or this judgment if you uh, still have any questions or concerns kindly reply back to me in the comment section of the video i will definitely get back to you once i see your comments if you really like my video kindly subscribe and let your friends know Thank you. Bye.